Attach the supplied dial indicator to a rigid part of the vehicle spindle. Make sure the vice grip is clamped securely by adjusting the knurled knob in the vice grip handle. Make sure the vice grip location is close enough to the rotor as to allow the flex arm and gauge of the dial indicator to make contact on the rotor's friction surface. Check to ensure the contact tip is tightened securely. The needle of the gauge should be contacting the rotor approximately a half an inch from its outermost diameter. With the cam lever in the released position, take the slack out of the dial indicator flex arm by rotating the knurled ring at the end of the flex arm clockwise with the dial indicator gauge in its desired position. With the slack taken out of the flex arm, a simple turn of the cam lever will secure the arm and gauge rigidly in place. In the tightened position, the cam lever should be in line with the flex arm. Lift the spring-loaded needle up off of the rotor a few times to ensure the tip of the needle is making good contact on the rotor friction surface and that there is no movement in the dial indicator or flex arm. Always rotate the rotor in the clockwise direction when checking for lateral runout. Notice how the gauge oscillates back and forth between the high and low points on the rotor. The lowest reading is the lowest spot on the rotor. Once you determine the low spot, gently push the gauge to bring the needle to top dead center or pointing towards the rotor. Then rotate the face of the gauge to set zero at this needle location. Rotate the rotor again to ensure the low spot is exactly at the zero setting. With the low spot now set at zero, continue rotating the rotor clockwise to determine the high spot. This is the location of the highest runout, and note the amount, which is read in thousandths of an inch. This particular vehicle is in excess of the two thousandths specification set by the manufacturer, and we will need to correct the lateral runout using the brake align correction plates. Please note we have found six thousandths of lateral runout and need to mark the rotor in the exact location of the high spot. Rotate the rotor again clockwise and stop the rotation when you reach the highest reading. Where the needle contacts the rotor is the exact location of the high spot. Using the supplied marker, mark this location on both the rotor and the closest wheel stud. Marking both points is very important. Pivot the dial indicator out of the way. We have found it helpful to rotate the rotor to bring the high spot to top dead center or at 12 o'clock. Using the brake align application chart, locate the year and model of the vehicle you are servicing. This 1999 Seville STS will use an 801 correction plate. The XX in the part number indicates the amount of taper or correction.